the warm waters of the Atlantic Ocean, the flying fish giving every impression of an aquatic world teeming with life. But below the surface, the seas are in trouble, and the scientists on board this ship are trying to find out why. Ready, you ready? I joined them for a dive into the depths, 10 miles off Bermuda. Thank you. Five support systems on and running. Safety brief complete. You're clear to dive. Dive, dive, dive. I understand I'm clear to vent. Venting now. It's a plunge into another world. The bubbles clear. The light fades. The submarine silhouetted against the ocean blue. 60 meters down, we reach the seabed. So I'll translate a little bit over to you. But to a pilot who's clocked up more than a thousand dives, it's not looking good. One of the things that, that I've seen is, you know, more and more of this kind of uh, almost looks like smothering of, of the reef on the top. And I think that's probably from, you know, sewage and, and just uh, runoff. The Necton mission is the most comprehensive ever ocean health check. The scientists are looking at everything from water chemistry and biodiversity to the impact of the lionfish, a gluttonous predator spread into the Atlantic by human activity. Divers follow lines across the sea bottom, recording everything with high-resolution cameras. Samples are collected to be analysed back on the surface. Coral reefs are the rainforests of the sea. 25% of all marine species live around here. That's 800,000 in all. And that is why coral is such a good indicator of ocean health. The mission's chief scientist is in another submarine, diving to 150 metres. The corals are largely healthy. Small fish are abundant, but the larger species are almost absent. Uh, what we've got here is... Uh, a wet coral, which you will see in the bucket here. Back in his lab on board the ship, he gives his assessment. It's down to overfishing. When you seriously overexploit marine ecosystems, it can take them decades to recover. And that's, that's in shallow water. You can imagine what happens if you drag, a, say, a trawl through a deep sea coral bed. You know, that is going to take hundreds of years uh, to recover if, if it recovers The varied and expansive corals here are also under threat. The seas are warming and becoming more acidic. Climate change, again human activity, stressing if not killing the reefs. The team here say we need to act now. Well, we know that the deep ocean is changing at its fastest rate for millions and millions of years. What we don't really understand at the moment is its health and its resilience. We need far more missions like this, and that's one of the problems. Trillions are being spent going into outer space, and hardly any money is being spent going into inner space, into the deep ocean, despite how critical it is for humanity. The oceans are the planet's lungs and larder. Half our oxygen comes from below the waves, and fish feed more than a billion people. But for how much longer? Thomas Moore, Sky News, Bermuda.